Oh goodness. 36 hours ago, Raven puked up a small fish jaw and some other little, like little tiny mussels. And so, you know, a little, some fish remains. So it's not uncommon for her to eat nasty stuff and then puke it up. But then that night, this was around lunchtime, then that night, she puked up all of her, of her uh, dinner, along with a big wad of deer hair. So I scooped it up, and it was just regular brown pu puke, and I sc scooped it up, threw it away, no big deal. Then the next, that, no, that night, her puke turned from brown to like purple. So then we decided to, you know, we got a, we started getting a little worried. And um, and so we didn't feed her anything the next morning and, and dinner and she acted like she was getting better our morning and lunch. And so I think like midday, my wife fixed her some rice and chicken and she had a bowel movement, which was solid, which was good. So we were like, oh good, she's drinking, she's peeing, she's drinking, she's peeing. She but uh, after she fed her, then she threw up again uh, but it was brown and then later that night she threw up and it was purple again and then she heard the next morning her stool was purple runny and purple and then she threw up one more time and it was just straight like purple brownish purple so we the, the problem in Juno is there aren't any vets so our vet couldn't see her that we called another vet they couldn't see her so on our way to town as soon as we hit the pier the the harbor my um we got a call from our vet and they said hey check out this other vet and they might be able to fit you in so i dropped them off with the boat and then me and skipper went and dropped the boat off at her mom and dad's house and i'm headed back to the vet so i mean I, the only thing why we think it is she's puking and pooping blood is because it's it's not brown it's like purplish color so we're trying to get her into the vet and see what the vet says so i am here leaving skipper in the car and i'm gonna go try to get an update so raven is acting fine but her stool and her puke are all and bloody. Puke are all yucky. And the doctor said she's dehydrated. They're gonna already set her up with fluids. Yeah, so that she's dehydrated. They're gonna give her some IVs and give her some fluids. So. So she got a big IV put in her in her back there. So. Oof, look it. So, <laughs> deep breaths. Um, it, the the X-ray showed that it didn't have. Um, that they could see. They couldn't see anything in her intestines, um, but they're not a hundred percent sure. And then they haven't ruled out pancreatitis yet. So they're gonna run some blood work and stuff. She just got a big IV because she was a little dehydrated. So we are. Some nausea medication. Yeah, we're waiting to see what uh what the vet says after this unfortunately she's got blood coming from both ends so it's definitely not a good thing mm -mm. so we're leaving the vet we got to come back this afternoon get another um get another dose of uh iv and another what was that shot that they gave her to keep her from is that what it is to keep her from puking um no it's also another antibiotic that they're injecting her with. Oh, twice. okay. So we gotta come back, get another, another maybe another IV bag if she's taking all this down, and then uh, another shot or two, and, and maybe another x-ray, so we'll see. Anyways, we're gonna go home. They said rest for the puppy, rest for us. Go from there. And go from there.
Looks like they got a little more snow in town than we did. So uh, we've, this is the next day after the vet's visit and uh, she hasn't thrown up anything. Uh, she has had diarrhea and they gave her some, um, some milky stuff and, and um, she, this morning she pooped out some milky stuff. So everything's looking on the up and up, but um, I'm gonna go back tomorrow. My wife's gonna stay in town for a couple more days just in case she takes a turn for the worse. But um, they think it might be pancreatitis, but um, the vet, there's not, there's, there's, there's a little shortage of vets. And the vet that, that saw her, um, he had some pancreatitis test, but they were shipped to him expired, so he didn't have a way to actually test for it. But that's what he's been really been treating her for, is uh, pancreatitis. So um, she's, she's looking good. She looks like she's feeling good. She ate a little bit of dog, we gave her three tablespoons of dog food today. And um, we're, yeah, everything stayed down so far, so. We're gonna give her a little bit more in an hour or so and see if that stays down as well. Anyways, we're out walking her, see if we can get her to pee and poop. And then uh, I'm gonna go do some, run some errands and I'm gonna take you along with me. Well, I just picked up my, um, my computer. It had taken a dump on me. Um, you know, I was gonna uh, I was gonna bring it to town, but uh, it, Raven gave us an excuse to bring it in a little uh, a little sooner. Uh, but this is this is the reason why we, we really appreciate our um, channel members and and Patreon is to is to help uh, take out a, a chunk of the cost of um, of the you know computers and cameras and stuff and some of the fees you pay for the music that uh, that we that we use on the channel. So we really appreciate the. Uh, support from you guys now we're gonna go look at um, seeing what we can buy in town for the uh, mooring system that we're gonna put in place in a couple weeks so uh, we're gonna go check out the anchor next So these are the anchors that we're looking at here. These are both uh, a 2000 with a little, um, with a little like sono tube coming out the top, and then they have a 2000, and it's just a, just this pyramid. It's got a little eye bolt on the top there, and that's got rebar on the top. But that's the anchor system. We're gonna have him give us a quote on what a 3,000 pound one and a 4,000 pound one would cost. I think if it doesn't cost too much extra, then we're just gonna go with the heavier anchor just uh, just so we can sleep better at night knowing that uh, it's not gonna drag. Um, with the concrete, unfortunately, it has like 40% buoyancy, so you lose like a, 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 like a 3,000 pound uh, anchor actually would be the same as if it was like a, a regular metal anchor. It would, um, a 3,000 would be like a 1,200 pound metal anchor is what i'm trying to say so it does have some buoyancy so it doesn't have the same oomph as a uh, like a stockless or a um danforth anchor but um it's just there ain't, there's none in town and i called seattle and uh, or washington and and um it just wasn't um getting it here costs a lot the anchors themselves cost a lot so i think this is going to be the best bet for us so we'll see Well, Western Auto had um, they had the, the hard mooring buoys that I want for up top, but I wanted a, a smaller like pilot buoy that would hang like maybe 10, 15 feet off the bottom to prevent the, the slack line from wrapping around the, um, you know, the anchor and getting all bound up. 
So I, I'll, I'll probably have to order that. I've got a couple of other places in town that I can look. Uh, and I'm looking for one and a one and a quarter inch line. It's like polydecron, but um, they only had an inch. But there's a, I think AIH might have a, a inch and a quarter. So I'm going to check them out. But I got a text saying that lunch has arrived, so I'm headed back to um, my mother and father-in-law's place and gonna uh, eat some lunch. Well, me and Skipper are going to go over to the other side and we're going to put a temporary mooring in and that way we can find out where we want to put our permanent mooring when it's all said and done. So, yeah, we're going to go over there and uh, give it a shot. So right behind us, that's the buoys, uh, like Marquita's buoy and stuff. So that's pretty, we're pretty much in line with that. I mean, that side right here, let me zoom out. This side right here, it cuts in a little more. So here's our buoy, and then uh, there's the mystery buoy, and then that is um, Bus's buoy. So we're we're a pretty good ways away. I don't know, 50 yards or so, and and that's already stretched out as far as it's going to go. So we'll, we'll have to see what happens when it blows from the north. We'll come over and uh, put that boat on it and see if it blows closer his way we'll, we'll find out we'll figure it out so that's our depth right now and we are exactly at 16 foot uh let me zoom in and we'll see what we got around us so um right here goes up to 18 and then we've got 16 and uh, 17 at 16 but um and that's at zero tide so even that uh let's say that 18 minus four we'll, that'll still be 14 foot of water but we're not even in that we're we're, as you can see, we're a few contour lines deeper than the 18 foot, so we should be good. All right, so I got Captain Funk's dinghy on there. There's my closest mooring. That's my mooring. I think it's going to be all right. We're going to watch it ride the storm out, so we'll see how it does. This is this is going to be like a hodgepodge video because I was just taking bits and pieces of Raven. Well, so... Um, Raven and, and my wife, my wife was going to have to stay, go to town next week because my mother-in-law is having a surgery and she was going to help out with them. But uh, Raven didn't look like she was uh, out of the woods. She had like a little bloody discharge out of her anus. And uh, so we decided, it, it, today's President's Day, we decided to just stay put. Uh, the vet was closed today. It'll be open tomorrow, and that way, if anything happens and she needs, a, you know, to go see the vet again, she can she can do that. But the problem is, is now I'm here by myself. I mean, I got Skipper, of course, but uh, for the next for the next till Thursday, so the next four days, uh, we've got gale force winds, and uh, I got back last night and I wasn't able to pull the boat out of the water. So the winds are picking up. Um, so I'm going to attempt to get the boat out of the water on my own. We shall see what happens. I'm going to just put the camera up here and um, this may be uh, entertaining to everybody. Let's let's see what happens. Or it might be a great success. It's not blowing too hard. Here you go. Uh, th there's definitely uh, a little uh, ripple, but um, it's not blowing excessively. There's no... There's no real big white caps out here. So I'm going to I'm going to give it a shot. We'll see what happens. All right, well that's about as far as I can get the winch down, but it's a it was a negative 3.7 last night and it's a 19.9, I think a 19.9 today. So uh, when you get those big tide swings, uh, the tide comes up really fast. So by the time I get the boat here and get it all jockeyed into position, that thing's probably going to be underwater. So or at least I'll be able to pull it up, so let's uh, let's get busy.
The other option would have been to untie the boat, jump out in it, and then drive it up on that thing. But since I was by myself and I've never done that, so I'll have to try it with my wife here sometime. She can be my, uh, whoops, that was a bad mistake, but I know it can be done. They make, they make little contraptions. You can drive your boat up to it and, and it clips right in so it doesn't, you know, it can't back out. So that's something we may look into for the, for the new boat. Well, I'd call it a success. We, uh, I, I did get a few gusts and it kept pushing the boat out, but we got it in there. Like I said, we'll practice uh, driving the boat on there next time my wife's back out here. And I think that uh, that would definitely be a lot easier for the bigger boat, just to unhook it, drive it over, have her, you know, stand by with the winch, me just drive it up and click it in place and then we can start pulling it out oh so i am also going to say uh i get a lot of comments are we going to be able to pull the new boat out <sighs> i hope so i mean i really hope so uh this is a 10,000 pound winch we can't upgrade to a 12,000, but i think a, a, a 10,000 or 12,000 with maybe a snatch block on it uh that'll double up its its pulling power and so we yeah i don't see why not uh this boat is 2,000 pounds, the new boat is 3,500. With fuel, it's probably gonna be about 4,000 pounds. So we'll see. We shall see. This this got, this got has a 30-pound uh, a fuel tank. The new boat has a 100-pound fuel tank. So uh, we'll find out. We'll find out in a month. Well, in less than a month. It gets here in like two weeks. By the time this video comes out, uh, it'll be like a week. So there's a little dinghy out there bobbing up and down. It's calling for 30 knots, but I don't know if we're gonna get hit with the brunt of it, but I know just north of us uh, they are. And if, you probably won't be able to see, we'll go over to the spit, but you can see out out a little further, you can just see huge white caps just pounding over there. So we'll go over there. I don't know if it'll pick it up on video though. So this is... <laughs> Get him, Skipper! So this is the other side of the spit. You can tell that it's got a little bit more, but way out there, I don't know if it picks it up, but that thing is just howling out there. You can see huge, like a mile or mile plus away, you can see huge white ducks out there. And the wind has shifted from the southeast to the northwest, and so uh, yet last night, our little dinghy was over here. Now it's over there. So that's, we've got at zero tide, we're like in 68 foot of water and I've got about 140 foot of line. And so that's a two to one ratio for the scope. And it, uh, it does travel a lot more than these cause these guys right here are both short scoping it, but they don't stay out here in the winter. So that's why I'm doing a long scope on mine. I figured we'd let the girls out since it was such a nice day today. Uh, it started getting sunny yesterday. Um, and then I saw an eagle kind of circling around. So I said, nope, not my chickens. So I put them back in, but um, we seem to be eagle free right now. So I thought maybe we will uh, let them out again. Um, anyways, I just talked to my wife. Uh, it's been, she's been 
two days without her nausea medicine and she hasn't thrown up and uh, her poop's still looking good. So I think, uh, uh, crossing fingers, I think everything's on the up and up. So uh, I will close this video out and say thank you guys for watching this. Like I said, this is just kind of a, a, a big update video. Um, so anyways, look forward to seeing you all next week and remember, live free. Take care.